Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shruti. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're watching Cowboy Bebop. So today we're jumping back into the Cowboy Bebop finale season one, episode 26, The Real Folk Blues, part two. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Oh, wow. They skipped the intro. Oh, no. No time for... <sighs> You're gonna kiss a man, kill him. Right. It was raining that day as well. I was supposed to kill you. It was all set up. If I had, I would have been free. Wow. You chose to be hunted. Why? Why did you love me? Let's just go away somewhere. Escape. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it. Oof, bloodshed. Was the target terminated? He got away. Why did you come back? Where's Julia? Hmm. <laughs> Jim, do not follow in your brother's footsteps. A warning. He's a friend of Spike. Maybe he rebelled too. Keep going, just drive past it. What? Somebody might have gotten there already. Hey. Oh. Beat her up. <gasps> Bruh. Don't talk. The vicious assassinated all of the elders. That's what they said. Oh, so you found Julia. That's good. I'm happy for you. It got a little chilly today. It's those cold winds. Bruh, you have to take out Annie for real, though? Oh, fuck. It's going down. Is that her artillery? Ooh. Yeah. You won't need all those weapons if we run away together. You know that. You, you gotta defend what, you know. You have to avenge Annie. And yeah, put an end to you. it. I'll be with you until the end. Bruh, don't be dying in this episode. I'm sorry. Scene. Double bow shot gonna do that to you. God. You're a very lucky woman. Yeah, right. The timing was perfect for getting shot at and nearly killed. I'm really on a roll. You're having some pretty good luck yourself. That spike, he was nothing but trouble. <laughs> He's probably not coming back. They may have killed him already, you know. So what? You want me to go looking for him? You told him to go after her. Ooh. My leg is wrecked. My ship is busted. Hell yes. He was nothing but trouble. So what kind of woman is she? Ordinary. <laughs> the kind of dangerous, beautiful ordinary. Wow. I see. Like an angel from the underworld. Hmm. Or maybe a devil from paradise. Wow. That's crazy. Ooh. Oh, Spike, you got this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Quality over quantity, eh? These guys firing off 50 shots, he gets off five and he gets you guys. Bro. Oh, man, the birds. Ooh, man. Wow. This. I knew it. No, with the white doves, don't do that. What is this? Julia. 
Inaudible. Nah, bro. How do you? Oh, she coming in out his life just like that, man. Five minutes ago, she was like, you won't need those guns if we run away. Now she got a bullet in her back, bro. From the time I saw her stand up all Can you help me track him down? dizzy and shit, I knew it was over. When a life is born, a new star appears. That is the guardian star. The star that warms this planet is someone's guardian star as well. And when a life ends, the star falls and disappears. <laughs> Don't say that, you running rock. That's not my name. Don't call me that. What? Do not fear We're death. About Spike or talking death about him? is always at our side. If we do not show fear, it casts its eye upon us gently and then guides us into infinity. Wow. A beast that has lost his place. He has nowhere to return to now. He will come. Guns blazing. <gasps> You're back. Do you have anything to eat? Huh? Mm. It doesn't seem like you should be after watching Julia die. Or maybe that's her pretend death. So that they could run off together. Yeah, it's true. The best spice. Cause that's how Spike was living off, so like living all this time. There once was a tiger-striped cat. This cat died a million deaths. Then one day, the cat became a stray cat, which meant he was free. He met a white female cat. Well, years passed, and the white cat grew weak and died of old age. The tiger-striped cat cried a million times, and then he died too. Except this time, he didn't come back to life. Good story. I hate that story. Hmm? <laughs> I never liked cats, you know that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? <laughs> this is his way of saying goodbye. Hey Spike. Yeah? Is it for the girl? She's dead. There's nothing I can do for her now. I don't believe that. Where are you going? Oh, she pulled a gun to me. told you once to forget the past because it doesn't matter. But you're the one still tied to the past, Spike. Look at my eyes, Faye. One of them is a fake because I lost it in an accident. Since then, I've been seeing the past in one eye and the present in the other. Wow. So I thought I could only see patches of reality, never the whole picture. You never told me anything about yourself, so don't tell me now. I felt like I was watching a dream I'd never wake up from. Wow. My memory finally came back. Wow. There was no place for me to return to. Hmm. This was the only place I could go. And now you're leaving just like that. I'm not going there to die. I'm going to find out if I'm really alive. I have to do it, Faye. Wars. It's ruining a ship. Oh. Back to one. Are you solo dolo? Wow. Point of no return. Bugs cool and not like a G. I might die, but I'm taking 50 of y'all with me. 
Oh, shit. fuck. <gasps> oh. This way. Not on the elevator, you just... The whole Ooh. building. Even more blood on your hands, bro. You gotta go do it. This guy's not playing around, bro. I told you before, Spike. I'm the only one who can kill you and set you free. Those words apply to you as well, vicious. Oh! Spike is a son. Oh! Julian is dead. Let's finish it now. He got him. Oh, he got him. Are you going to drop down too? Did he get sliced? Biggie over here. Yeah. Just a dream. Wow. What are these guys doing? They have no leader. Maybe Spike's their leader now. Maybe Spike's their leader. Bang. Bruh! You're gonna have to die. You don't know where he doves again. The doves again. Maybe he's. Like, maybe he's faking again. <laughs> wow. Nobody's chasing him now, wow. so he doesn't have to fake it. Oh my gosh. Nah, that was a great series, man. That was a great series. Yeah, man, in such a short time, you get attached to these characters, you know? Like, I thought it was heartbreaking when, when Ed and Ayn left, you know what I'm saying? And they'd only been here for, like, what? Ed, Edward's jamming with Edward was episode 9 or episode 11, so they're only here for, like, 10, 12 episodes. And now we got Spike going out on his sword, dog. Like, come on, man. Full circle. That was the whole time Vicious and Julia was always in the background and... That's when it came to a head, that's what it was. Because they had because they each had their own individual stories, like the Ganymede elegy and the uh honky tonk woman or my my funny Valentine with Faye. I thought that Vicious and Julia were obviously a part of uh Spike's story. I didn't know they were part of the bigger Bebop story though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because like um, for example, um uh Jet's um ex wife didn't show back up again and neither right. did any of kind of phase situations. But then of course we had the Ed the Ed and well not the Ed and Ein episode, but the, the Ed episode where she was able to find her father and shit. But man, what a what a what a way to end the series, you know? Shit, man. Those episodes were really good. They always always had like a great way of building up the character. Like like they always had a great way of introducing the story. And then in the midst of the story, you find out that one of the new characters you just met happens to be the bounty and they happen to be mm -hmm. talking to Faye or friends with Spike or, you know what I'm saying? Like it was always, it was always great how that came about, you know what I'm saying? And every episode was like its own, imp like even though this, the episodes were part of a series, mm -hmm. each Cowboy Bebop felt like, like a CSI episode, right. like it's a different criminal, it's a different opponent, it's a different thing. And that was great about it because they were able to create such a perfect picture frame in such a limited amount of time and, and in a together. limited series they were able to create such great characters such great character growth i mean look at from where faye came from when we first saw her Bruh. hustling at the, at the tables right and then ed 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 was uh ed is an incredible character yeah. regardless ein was just was just an adorable like uh, uh adorable okay that he we found he a ed at the ein at the pet shop he was a data dog right yeah, yeah you know Man, this was an awesome series, man. What a great series of Cowboy Bebop. Can't wait to get on to our next one. So, thank y'all for joining us for the season finale of 
Cowboy Bebop. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about this series down in the comments and be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out our full length uncut reactions or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake for Beauty and the Beard. We'll sign off to the next one. Peace.